Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'm going to walk you through a trace file that, uh, like most networks, you'll be surprised this even works. But hopefully there will be a little shopping list of things to fix at the end of this. So the complaint here was that the phones uh, were booting up and then they were just hanging on initialization. So I was asked to take a peek and took a trace. Basically uh, the way I got the trace was I connected the phone, which is PoE, directly into my Profi Shark and basically that's connected to my computer with a USB hard drive I mean a USB connection so basically everything that comes out of that phone I capture and this is what I saw so let's take a quick look uh, how do we do this stuff in Wireshark I get a lot of requests asking for the methodology and here we go we've got our typical three pane display we don't need all this right now so view get rid of the packet bytes that's that bottom pane view get rid of the packet details which is now that bottom pane and now we have our trace file. If you did have the colors on, you, you can take get rid of that right now as well. We, we don't we want to keep it simple. So let's search for where it boots up. And how do we know it boots up? Probably DHCP gets involved, right? There we go. So DHCP discover, offer request, acknowledgement. And the four step process is easy for me to remember because it's my mom's name, D-O-R-A, Dora. So when you see all four steps, that means things are working. That's great. So why doesn't the phone come up? Let's find out. So we're going to go to the last step here, this DHCP acknowledgement, which is from the DHCP server to the client. So you can see he's talking to his IP. So the client is 26.122. So let's just take that filter off by hitting this X. And if you take a look, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. There it is. There's a lot of stuff going on. So what are we looking for exactly? Well, what would be helpful is if we knew what the MAC address of the client was. So now, again, I'm just going to scroll this up a little bit because I want to turn on my packet details. There we go. And now I can see the destination IP is 26.122. Therefore, the destination MAC address is this MAC address that ends with FD. All right. If I take a look at the source, 26.1, that's the router. And it says router, board, and his MAC address as well. So what would be really helpful is if we simply sorted some sort of list of MAC addresses and filtered on this MAC address. So that's what we want to find. VTech, and it ends with FD. So let's go to statistics, endpoints, which is going to give you a shopping list of all the addresses. Let me just drag that in here. Uh, here's the trick at the bottom, name resolution, click, and you'll see all the addresses. So we said that we wanted this MAC address, FD, or A8FD, if you want the whole thing. And there it is, A8FD. Click, right click, applies filter, and select it. Close. So now we have all the packets from that phone. So now we have a different view of what's going on. And immediately things start to jump out. So we see our DHCP stuff from before, which is great. And we can see this ARP announcement, right? So the phone is saying, hey, I want to make sure that nobody has my IP address. And that's called a gratuitous ARP. So because he sends this out, uh, hopefully nobody replies. And if everything is quiet, off you go to the races and you use your IP address. Well, we can see right here, router board comes back and says, hey, that IP is in use. Hmm. So if we take a look here in this art packet, we can actually see the router is saying, that's my IP, 234.32. And the phone says, that's oh, my IP. So now we have a bit of a stalemate. Now, why the, phone, why the, why the router is responding to the phone's IP is one question. The other question is the phone got a 192.168 IP. Why is it sending out this for 169.254? What's that got to do with anything? So the plot thickens, right? And, and a little spoiler alert, there is no real answer at the end of this because this is an ongoing issue, but I will keep you updated as to how it progresses. So you can see gratuitous ARP, right? We got that little, I'm going to say slapping match. And there's the other one, right? And this goes on and on and on. So at one point, uh, as we were doing this, I said to the client, that router, it's a MicroTik router, I said, why don't we just disconnect the LAN port on that router to see what happens? And they said, sure. So they did that, and the gratuitous ARP 
uh, I mean, gratuitous art reply, pardon me, does not come back. And then all of a sudden, pink, I can pick up the phone and I can make a call. Now what's interesting about this part of the conversation is again, I got 192.168 as an IP address, but the phone is insisting on using this 169254 IP address. And, and odder than that is the gateway also has a 169254 address, even though it had a 192.168 private address. So everybody got an address from the DHCP server, but everybody's deciding to use this 169254 address. It looks like it's a 16-bit mask. So 169254, 169254 is in the same subnet or network. And then this, these last two octets are probably the host address. But you can see it's working, working just fine. So I, I told the client that we need to figure out a few things. Number one, why aren't they actively using the 192.168 address? Why isn't the gateway actively using it? And why is the router stepping in and slapping around the phone every time it wants to do this gratuitous ARP? We found this happens with all the phones. So something's going on with this router config that we need to figure out. So there you go, folks. That's how you take a trace file. That's how you start going through it. And that's what some of the packets mean. Have a good day. Bye for now.